despondency in 1993, to the high enthusiasm that I felt at the Houston launch of the Presidential Library, to George W.'s election as governor in November of that year, to the delight following Jeb's election in 1998, followed by their great pride and pleasure with George W.'s election to the presidency, and perhaps most importantly, to the serenity we found today in both Barbara and George. They are truly at peace with themselves, joyous in what they and the children have achieved, gratified by the goodness that God has bestowed upon them all, and genuinely content with the thrill and promise of each passing day. And at that, George, who had tears in his eyes as I spoke, said, you know, Brian, you've got us pegged just right. And the roller coaster of emotions we've experienced since 1992. Come with me. He led me down the porch at Walker's Point to the side of the house that fronts the ocean and pointed to a small, simple plaque that had been unobtrusively installed just some days earlier. It read C-A-V-U. George said, Brian, this stands for Ceiling and Visibility Unlimited. When I was a terrified 18 to 19 year old pilot in the Pacific, those those were the words we hoped to hear before takeoff. It meant perfect flying. And that's the way I feel about our life today. C-A-V-U. Everything is perfect. Barr and I could not have asked for better lives. We are truly happy and truly at peace. As I looked over the waters of Walker's Point, on that golden September afternoon in Maine, I was reminded of the lines, simple and true, that speak to the real nature of George Bush and his love of his wonderful family and precious surroundings. There are wooden ships, there are sailing ships, there are ships that sail the sea, but the best ships our friendships, and may they always be.